What's up, everybody? Anyways, so it's been a it's been a week since we last saw each other. How have you guys been doing? But today, so I just woke up. That's why I look like this and sound like this. Um, but I just woke up, and I figured today we're gonna do a lo another little like productive vlog. My let me grab my planner and my computer. I planned out all my stuff on Notion. You're probably asking yourself, like, hey, Jeanette, how many times can you mention Notion before it's, like, gonna get old? And the answer is, um, it'll never get old until I'm sponsored. So, also, guess what it is? Black History Month, baby! It's <laughs> gonna um, but I'm gonna talk about, like, one like, black person, either in history or, like, right now, who, like, I'm super inspired by. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna do that probably towards the end of the video, just because I know you guys are, like, little kids and have to have fun before you do anything serious. So, you know, we'll have fun, we'll keep it light, keep it relatable, and then we'll get into it. Look crazy. Isn't this crazy that this is our first time in bed together? Don't look at me like that. Give me like five, ten minutes to get my shysty shit together, and then I'll come back and we can get into the day. Okay? Okay, so I realized I said I'd be back in ten minutes. That was a fucking lie. <laughs> that was a fucking lie. But, um, this old. We'll come back, shower, skin care. So it worked out. Um, so I'm feeling a little rush, a little fight, a little flight, I don't know. I'm feeling crazy, I'm feeling ready to go. I'm gonna go upstairs and talk to my mom so she stops accusing me of being a vampire. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna try to get this list of things done. Hey guys, so, I don't know if you recall, like, five minutes ago, a couple moments ago maybe, when I said, okay, now I'm gonna go upstairs. And then when I come back, we're going to do skincare. You might notice that we're not doing skincare, okay? And that's because I did my own type of skincare, which was cry my eyes a little bit. Okay, hey guys, so I figured we could pick a cute little outfit. Well, I don't know. Let's not, let's not set our expectations too high. We can pick an outfit for the day. Apologies for this video just taking a, like, dive off of a hill but we're trying to be fun and relatable here and everybody goes through shit so time for you to see me go through shit okay guys hear me out you're gonna hate me for not being fashionable fashionably forward i promise i have great outfits i do but what if we just wear these black leggings that i currently have on my body that i can't show you because i'm not flexible enough this purple sweater and just this random white workout shirt. I don't know. I sound, sounds good to me. What's up, y'all? So, shower has been acquired. Um, I feel a little bit better, actually. Crazily enough. Ow. Really, nigga? Well, first of all, I literally had a shower at the infernal temperatures of hell. That's how you know I'm struggling. Whenever I have a, like a hot shower, I'm in pain. Anyways, in the meantime, should we do a fit check? I don't know if this is good. If it's bad, I don't know. Shut the fuck up. Don't complain to me. Um, purple sweater. Got my little cropped white top. But my tits are out, so I don't... I don't want to get flagged for nudity, so I'm not going to show you. Um, and it has these little, it has these little thumb holes, and that makes me very happy. Although I'm just wearing regular black leggings and these same fuzzy socks that we literally see every single week. And this head skin care sesh. Um, might put these headphones on, but it's not because I'm not listening to you or I don't want to talk to you. My love life literally is killing me right now. Like I. I can't, like, but, like, when I tell you, I have been in the trenches. First step, 
Actually, first step, my crusty ass fucking hands need some lotion. Look. Sometimes I feel like I'm just kind of, like, not sure what's going on. That could be directly linked to the fact that I don't know what's going on. It's really distressing for me. The worst, the thing that's most distressing for me is that there's a white person out here, out there right now, doing better than me. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't take it. Um, whoever that white person is, fuck you. No, I'm joking. And second of all, face is exfoliated. Can I exfoliate my emotions away? I don't know. I'm so bad for, like, believing that I have some kind of, like, impending doom, and I'm gonna, like, pass away when I'm 20. Hey! So, you're probably asking yourself, Jeanette, what happened to the plan? What happened to the plan? Well, the plan went out the fucking window, because my mom wanted help with a bunch of shit. And guess what time it is now? 2 p.m. <laughs> um, I got Weverse because I'm trying to be that girl, like we said earlier. And one thing about being that girl is being into K-pop. I'm already into K-pop. But then, hand in hand with that is getting Weverse. I'm sorry. No, but the thing is, Oka is like obviously actually a word in Korean and it just means like older brother or whatever. But what I tell you I hear one more international K-pop st stan say Opa in an English sentence. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cut, cut his fucking mic. Oh, shit. I got white stuff on my face. <laughs> That's what she said. Relax. Like, we'll just do something goofy and fun. Because I'm feeling goofy and fun. Well, I'm not quite feeling fun yet, but I'm feeling goofy. That's for sure. God, I hate when things don't fucking work out properly. It makes me so mad. <laughs> I definitely don't want to cry or die. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go to my room. Again, like we said last time, if you don't like the bad lighting, shut the fuck up and get out. Why am I saying this? <laughs> I don't, sorry, I just like noticed that I was like, so now I'm going to. <laughs> also, my cat's here. Isn't he so cute? Ah! I'm gonna turn on music now. I don't know why this is so zoomed in. Fucking speaker! Okay, sorry. I have a lot of pent up rage still from. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that because I'm poor and I can't afford to buy a new phone. Time lapse starts now. 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 sticker. I have some cutesy cute stickers. I have this random sticker that says let's pretend. And by pretend I mean pretend to be happy. Sorry. That wasn't very fun and relatable of me. I'm sorry. But anyways, yeah. And my computer's pink, so I'm already better than you. So Fuck you, angel mama. No, I'm joking. I'm sure your mother's very nice. I apologize. Comments. started on some work. Also, if any of you are, like, watching the time lapse, or, like, those are, why is she picking up clothes off the floor to put in her dresser or whatever? First of all, mind your own fucking business. Second of all, I have this bad habit of putting all of my clothes, clean or dirty, into a basket at the end of my bed.
Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, I got a lot further than I was anticipating. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this fucking roller coaster of a day, though. Hey, pretty mama. So basically, um, there's like, I've heard people joke around that, like, you either are a Malcolm X kid or a Martin Luther King Jr. kid, like, as a black kid. And, like, I would say that I was a Malcolm X kid, but, so, I personally, as I grew up in this white town, in my white family, um, as I grew up, I, like, I think Malcolm X was, like, one of the first, like, biographies that I ever read about, like, a black person, like, changing the world, essentially. Um, Malcolm X started out his life when he was born or whatever. He's born into, like, a rough situation, right? Like, and then he was, like, living in abject poverty, and then him and his sister were put into a foster home after his mother was unable to take care of him due to, like, the mental strain that being in horrid poverty puts on you. He converted to Islam, um, while he was in prison, and after he converted, started to, you know, speak out for the people. Like, he was using his voice, and I think that, for me, is probably, like, my biggest inspiration when it comes to him. It's hard to, like, speak out about things, right? It's hard to, like, call someone out. Like, sometimes when we talk about using your voice, people get the wrong idea that it's, like, okay, so I gotta have this many Instagram followers, and then I can start talking about these things. Or, like, you know? But honestly, using your voice can just be calling out your friends. Using your voice is like, hey, like, yo, that shit's not fucking cool. Or whatever, right? So, just know that your chance to use your voice is coming. I'm sure there's been some chances in the past and it's okay if you miss them. There's always gonna be another chance because there's always gonna be some more fucked up shit in the world. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. I this might not be as, like, in-depth as you were, ex you was expecting. You were expecting. But it wasn't supposed to be. It was just supposed to be a little quick synopsis um, and something that I learned from him. Um, anyways, <laughs> thank you for coming along on this little vlog that kind of like literally went off the rails like 37 fucking times. But I know you guys love me so much that you won't even care how off the rails this vlog is. Um, anyways, leave a comment like, subscribe, throw some ass, I don't know, do something, do something fun, um, and I hope you had a great Sunday, I hope you had a great Sunday hanging out with me, because I had a great Sunday hanging out with you, and I hope that you'll come back next week, and the week after that, and the week after that, because we gonna be friends forever, right? Anyways, until next time. Right outside. Turn baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas proud, I ain't it die Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine